Hello witches. I thought I would show you my very heavy, heavy, beautiful cast iron pan. Um, I got this years and years ago and um, at the time I didn't realize the value of what I had. Um, I think my grandmother bought this for me. If not, then probably my mom. But um, I had never really used it at the time. I was young and inexperienced in cooking and I forgot I had it and um, I found it again. It was on a shelf in my, um, I have kind of like a pantry area and underneath the stairs going down to my basement and this was there with other um, less frequently used pans and muffin tins and things like that and what a find. I forgot all about it so I had to clean it up. It had a little bit of um, I don't know if it was rust or just dirt or what, but um, I thought cast iron doesn't rust. I may be wrong in that, but um, you guys can correct me if that's wrong. Um, but yeah, so I decided to start using this wonderful cast iron pan again to get really in the mood of being a kitchen witch. Because even though everything I do in the kitchen is very kitchen witchy, and all my cookbooks are kitchen witch books and recipes from family and things like that, but um, using a cast iron pan, I think, is really um, authentic witchcraft. <laughs> cast iron is awesome, and I think things are supposed to cook better in it. Um, usually I use a wok for a lot of things, because I have a really nice um, stainless steel wok that I've been gifted by my old, my ex-mother-in-law. But um, this is awesome. I think these are really expensive. So um, I think maybe I will switch to using cast iron from now on. Um, maybe I can find a nice big witchy pot, a big one that I can fill with gallons of soup and things like that. But for now, this is what I have. And uh, that's about all. It's a nice hot summer day, there's joy thing with kitty kitty we have the sweetest cat i just love our cat she is awesome she's so sweet my little kitty kitty I'm playing club penguin. and we are playing club penguin and staying cool inside we're going to be getting i haven't done a house view of all my little witchy things but this Watch is the me. first um wait a minute this is the first broom i ever bought in my life well as a witch anyway official witchy buy um, I got that in Salem, and I have had it on my door ever since. I still love it, even though it's not one that I use, it's just more decorative. But, um, and these I've collected, these were really expensive, I had to save up to buy each one. And sadly, the store where I got them, um, closed, another witch ball, I have witch balls all over my house. Um, I don't know, but they are said to trap negative spirits inside. Um, if you look close at them, they're blown glass with these little like web things, like webbed blown glass on the inside, and that's supposed to be where spirits that are wishing harm are trapped. I personally would never do one of those spells to trap a spirit. I believe that that's kind of cruel. Um, I would just kind of not do something to keep them out, but I would never trap something or someone. Um, this one's the moon. I love this one. Um, I'm very sad because I used to have um, a matching sun picture, at sun and moon set, and um, I've since lost the other one. Um, the first one is over here. I had these in my room since I was a play 13 I had the Sun and the moon and somehow um, through many moves the, the moon picture um, was lost so if anybody happens to see the matching one somewhere um, it looks just like that only a moon um, but I'm really sad and I'd like to find it again and have the whole set if I could but um anyway I have my little Raven up here, and I forgot to tell you guys the story of what happened. Um, I did a video not that long ago 
telling you guys about um, a mother bird that dropped a dead baby in front of me. And um, just the other day, a couple days ago, I was driving on a dead end street. We have a huge table, by the way. This seats um, everybody at Thanksgiving. We can fit about almost 20 people at our table, but it's actually underneath is a pool table. So if you take the tabletop off, um, you can play pool. But anyway, um, I was driving down a dead end street and a cat had a bird in its mouth. Not a dead bird, a completely alive, black, raven looking type of bird. And the bird was going crazy, flapping its wings. And finally, I was like, I stopped the car and I went, oh my goodness. And I, I don't know if I yelled loud enough that they heard me or what. The bird pecked the cat. The cat turned and looked at me with the bird in its mouth, released the bird, and the bird flew straight at my windshield. Me and my friend, who is also a witch, um, looked right at me and we both said, an omen. Ah. And since then, we've had kind of really horrible things happening. So... <laughs> I don't know, omen or not, um, it was pretty creepy. And I felt bad for the bird, but I'm glad it escaped. Hopefully my scream set it free. So I wanted to show this. I know I showed it in some of my very earliest videos, but um, a lot of you guys um, are probably newer to my channel than that. Um, these items that I have hanging here, um, my house was built in 1854, and these items were actually with the house. These have been here probably since the first owners. Um, they were deep in the basement and um, I guess people have just left their stuff in the basement because there's all kinds of very very old things that just kind of got left behind and so um, I tried to de-rust them the best that I could and um, I sprayed them with some silver and gold spray paint but um, I thought that these are very cool and very witchy and they go with the history of the house. Now I have since found out that this thing right here, I wondered what it was because it seems like it has kind of a purpose to it. Um, and I guess in the 1700s to probably early 1900s, um, people waked their families in the home and this was what was put above the coffin. Um, yeah. <laughs> and when you know that, it kind of makes it a little bit creepier, but I don't know if they used it for anything else, but um, that's a little bit of history as to what this object is. So um, it probably had belonged to the family and got brought with them when they built this house in 1854. And so, I have kept it and I like it. Um, of course I cleansed it and everything so hopefully there's no psychometry negatively attached to it or anything. And um, one more thing is the original key to the house which is awesome. Look at this how big keys used to be with those big locks. I'm pretty sure that that is what this is. I can't imagine anything else. Um, I've seen the way locks and keys from then were, and they were this big. Um, at least most of them, some of them. Um, so I think this is really cool. It was really old. I don't, I don't know if the kids found this in the yard, or if it probably was just in the basement. But. Um, I don't know, people, some people think that I have weird d decor in my home because of that stuff. But everybody who's a witch seems to love it. <laughs> so, um, that's about all. Thought I would just give you guys a little information in case some of you are newer to the channel. And this is what my family looked like um, in the early days. This was when we first probably were in this house. John was born. This is my now nine-year-old, my now 15-year-old, and my now 13-year-old. So this was probably around 2004, I think. 
And uh, that's what we looked like then. Look how skinny I used to be. Oh, to have those days me. back. And this is place. first place prize for best costume. Um, we were the best couple. I was an angel and he was the devil. Haha, <laughs> kind of fitting, don't you think? <laughs> Can you come watch no, I won't be that mean, but Can you watch me? I am. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to go set the table um, for lovely Thai night. I'm getting pad thai tonight. And Troy wants me to show you Club Penguin. There I am. Pretty cool. I played this today, and it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> I like little kid stuff. And there's some more of my frogs, my collection of frogs. I love froggies and owls. And this is my favorite bowl in the world. Even though it's a Halloween bowl, I keep it out all year because I love it. Kitty cat with a witch hat. How perfect, huh? Look at me! Cat Joy's hiding in the hamper. Okay, guys, have a great weekend.